Hi everybody, my name is Joel Tilke and I am a certified hypnotherapist and founder of MotivationalHypnotherapy.com. So people ask me all the time, what is hypnosis? Can I be hypnotized or what if I can't be hypnotized or are you going to hypnotize me against my will or without me knowing like in those cheesy old movies? So let me just briefly tell you what hypnosis is, what it isn't. Okay, so let's start here. I always tell people if you can relax, you can most likely be hypnotized because hypnosis is a natural state of selected focused attention. So think about this. Have you ever been driving down the highway and you're thinking about things in life, something that happened to you that day with your boyfriend, girlfriend, you're still driving and you're staying in your lane, but then you snap out of it. You missed your turn like a mile ago. That's a form of hypnosis and we call that road hypnosis. Or have you ever been watching a really, really great movie or TV show and, or maybe a game on TV and you are so engrossed that someone could be calling your name and you never even hear them? That is a form of hypnosis or highly focused attention. Whether you know it or not, you've been hypnotized. Why do you think we uh, put those commercials in the middle of a TV show? They know you're in a semi-suggestible state. And that's the, the time to try and sell you something. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to sell you something here. But that's how they came up with soap operas. They were sponsored by soap companies to sell you soap. Go figure. You learn something new every day. Hypno comes from the Greek word meaning sleep, which is not entirely the case. So let me explain a little more. When you look out the window and you daydream, you're looking outside, you're focused on something, but your mind is somewhere else. You're in a highly focused state. Your brain is engaged, but you're vividly imagining and experiencing altogether something different. Space between sleep and wake. You know, at night when you're falling asleep and the TV is on and you feel like what's happening on TV is happening in your dream, that's a form of hypnosis and suggestibility. Hypnosis is not something you can just do to someone. You need to have a level of trust and agreement between each other. If you fight me, it won't work. If I try to manipulate you, your defenses will automatically go up and you will not be open to anything I'm saying. Like I said, we need to create a level of trust to go into a suggestible state where someone can truly be hypnotized. So here's another question I got. People ask me, well, what if I'm hypnotized and I can't wake up? Well, let's say you're listening to one of my programs with your headphones on and it turns off for some reason. Or you're in my office and I get up and I walk away and there are a few minutes of silence. You just eventually, after a few minutes, open your eyes feeling refreshed or you could just fall right to sleep. So there are studies that show that a half hour of hypnosis can equal four to six hours of sleep. So if you're planning on a long night, doing some partying, do some hypnosis. Now there are tons of benefits from hypnosis and I think one of the most important is stress management. If you think about how many behaviors are triggered by stress or your fight or flight response, eating, smoking, sometimes drinking, biting your fingernails, the list goes on. Also get asked, how can treatment aimed at your mind affect your body? The body responds physically to thoughts. For example, when I think of a frightening thought, we can experience increased heart rate, shortness of breath, butterflies in your stomach, you can start sweating, shaking, so on. Now similarly, when we think of pleasurable thoughts, we can experience a reduced heart rate, deeper breathing, state of relaxation, relaxed muscles, so on. So your autonomic nervous system responses that are involuntary, but they can be utilized to promote health. Hypnosis is such a useful tool with some of life's common problems and some of the more complicated ones. The key is when you're ready to be open and willing You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by relaxing and experience what most people find a really enjoyable journey of self-discovery. So I suggest whether you're listening to hypnosis on an audiobook or in office, make sure that a person is qualified and certified, that they're a certified hypnotherapist. Most commonly recognized body is the National Guild of Hypnotists. So I hope this has given you a little more information to go on. So for more information, just go to my website, motivationalhypnotherapy.com. You can find out more about me, more about hypnosis. You can take a brief look at our products. We have other blogs and videos on there. So enjoy your day and um, sleep.